Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Cordant, and this time, it's actually time for some gameplay. So, in the last episode, we were dealing with character creation, which is actually in an incorrect order. Yes, yeah, so this is how I want it. So, our two frontliners, so fighter fighter, rogue, and um, wizard. We were dealing with character creation, we saw the intro, and now it's time to play. So, uh, are we already faced with a puzzle? Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm, a second to adjust the sound. This is probably better. Okay, so we have... Oh! Oh, okay, I can click it and it... it okay, so it's... Translated, I guess. Choose your fate. Perish in this cell or pick up the torch. <clears throat> pick up the torch. Can I... Um... Oh, <clears throat> I'm wondering if it has like um, a duration. Now I came from playing Vaporum before this, and it's really weird because it seems like the camera moves around a lot faster, <laughs> and I'm not used to it. Okay, so we have some. Ooh, peasant's breeches and the peasant's tunic. Protection plus two. <clears throat> We're gonna give our guy protection plus two. So, protection two and two. Perfect. Anything with the chain? Hmm. Cudgel. Uh, let's do it like this. <clears throat> because this guy has more so 16 oh 20 God damn minus 3 Jesus why do I get minus 3 <clears throat> because it's the left no why Ah, okay, the, the weapon itself has minus five. Okay, so this makes sense. <clears throat> so we can close this up. Oh. Okay, so right mouse button is the look around button. Cool. We're gonna pick up another torch. Pull the lever. Something that's interesting here that is not the case in Vaporum is that Vaporum, when you put your mouse over something that is interactable, <clears throat> the game will tell you that it's interactable. But on this one, it does not. You just have to click and see. <clears throat> okay, so we use the pressure plate. I'm stacking torches. Ooh, a brass key. Now, for some reason, I discovered that I love this style of game. I mean, I knew, I always knew I liked dungeon crawlers, but... Wait, do I have a map? Okay, thank God I have a map. <laughs> oh! Right there. Man, couldn't it be... <laughs> A-W-S-D... Okay, now I'm lost. <clears throat> uh, I always knew I liked dungeon crawlers, but um, this grid-based movement is making me want to try stuff again like Eye of the Beholder, which is something I've always wanted to play, but never actually got around to it. <clears throat> okay, so what? Loose rock. Where? <clears throat> Over here? 
Oh! <clears throat> we have a key. Give me a torch. <laughs> I'm just stacking torches. So, the key. Okay, and when they get used, we lose them. <clears throat> okay, so anything over here. Oh, God. Okay, it really is dark. <laughs> if you aren't carrying a torch. <clears throat> the thing is... <gasps> uh, it doesn't look hostile. But I'm not sure if I want to risk it. Are you friend? No, not friend. <clears throat> so I think the... Oh. Okay, so how do we attack? Haha! -ha. Hit, hit. Can't reach. Can I cast magic? Oh god. I have no clue what I'm doing! <clears throat> oh god. Get smacked. <clears throat> Get smacked. Okay! 60 XP. Okay, so now, how do I do this? Oh, okay, I see. <clears throat> I need to learn the runes to actually cast the spells. So at this point, I'm guessing I have no spells learned. Can I walk during while the map is open? I don't think so. No. Okay, so let's see what our friend, Mr. Snail, left for us. A pair of boots. Some leather pants. <clears throat> and a dagger. Ooh, what's this? A dagger. I think I can take it. I cannot do anything else with this, though. Uh, I keep forgetting it's not I for inventory. So, protection plus four, <clears throat> and this guy has protection plus three, and a bunch of torches. Now, I cannot reach anything, so this is attack power five, attack power four. Okay, and I don't seem to actually lose anything by dual wielding, <clears throat> which is interesting. Give me a torch. Thank you. <clears throat> so now for the moment, the rogue isn't actually doing much. But I think... Uh, I think I can throw rocks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so close this up. And we are on our way. Ooh, throwing knife. Even better. You can place it... Eh, like this. Schnell. Ooh, two Schnells. Get the... Oh, great. <laughs> Take a hit. Take it. Take it. Oh, come on. <clears throat> you can hit. Oh, I do not want to get... Stuck. The one thing you never want to do in a game like this is actually getting cornered <clears throat> by the enemies. Because if you do that, <laughs> you're probably going to die. Man, the throwing dagger does nice damage. Are you confused, Mr. Schnell? Now, I could almost guess that the snails do not enjoy fire. <clears throat> Doesn't seem to make a difference. Okay, so as soon as he walks over the throwing weapon, he picks it up. Okay, wonderful. So, that makes it easier. <clears throat> now, one thing I haven't actually been paying too much attention to because... Jesus Christ, it would be quite a chore is to check if there are 
hidden buttons <clears throat> like loose rocks and all that stuff so I need a brass door a uh, brass pfft, uh, a brass key it seems nothing down there I'm always curious if one of these is pullable oh <laughs> a baked maggot <clears throat> thanks some sandals a loin cloth how wonderful Ooh, willpower minus one attack power plus one mm. I'm gonna give it to the rogue and now oh this is the food oh god so this might be troublesome <clears throat> if I get to a point where I like I have no food and I just starve to death so I gotta always keep moving <clears throat> I don't know if it gets consumed like uh, let's say over time or if it or if it gets consumed over each iteration of movement <clears throat> okay there's there's a hole here uh, okay obvious can I can I just um, wonderful give me the key <clears throat> I cannot leave I cannot take the rock back another rock and some bread okay okay and we have the key right yeah we do have the key so Ooh, this looks like a trap What have we here? We have a new thing. <clears throat> An enemy? It looks like it. Oh, I missed. Mr. Enemy? Are you... Yep. Not friendly. <clears throat> I was wondering if he was weak to fire given that it looks like a plant. Does not seem to be. Okay. There you go. Oh, another one. <clears throat> you little bitches. Hmm. It's a bit more cumbersome to actually have to press multiple attacks. Instead of Vaporum, where you just have one person to to manage, I guess. <clears throat> so we're doing some damage. Nothing too fancy. We are missing quite a bit with the Cudgel, though. Which is a shame, because it actually deals nice damage. Okay, cool. So, throwing dagger is back. Both rocks are back. But I hear one, uh, another one of these guys. More! Jesus! <coughs> okay, okay, okay. Gonna have to kill them all. It's a shame I don't have, like, some sort of way to... <clears throat> To deal damage from afar with my rogue and I have no damage to deal with my mage this this doesn't seem right actually I, I should have <coughs> like some basic spell oh and they do get used up okay this makes more sense ok 
Okay. This one is done. Stamped. While we can keep like dodging their attacks, <clears throat> this isn't very hard, but I'm sure as soon as we get cornered, <laughs> it will not be as easy. Uh, enemy confused. Okay, this is the energy bar, I'm guessing. Come on. Okay. So this is... Yeah, this is the energy bar. 45 energy, 50 energy. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I've got my first rock and my second rock. What is that? A gem? Uh... The door does not seem to have any keyhole, though. <clears throat> oh! Tarbid. A rare herb that's, that grows in swamps and other moist areas. It is known for its potent healing properties. Oh, nice. <clears throat> now, do you not know how to cast anything else? Anything at all? Oh, so four skill points will get me a spell. Well, god damn it. <laughs> yeah, because I, I don't know any spells. Not skilled enough. Well, screw you. <laughs> and actually, in the midst of... Okay. I had forgotten what I came here for. A blue gem. What? <clears throat> so there's a button. <coughs> I do not know what it does. Some more mushrooms. And okay. Oh, I see. <clears throat> Heal my sight. Okay, this is very easy. Okay. So there's a lever. Oh, and I see why. Oh, hello. No, no, no. Come here. I wonder if I can kill a bu- Oh! <clears throat> no experience points gained, though. actually been hit yet soon I could drop you just here but I want to try and get some experience points Actually, I'm actually gonna start using this as um, a pressure plate thingy. Wait, so we didn't come from here. Is there anything here? No. Okay, second rock. 
Oh, third rock. <coughs> Loin cloth. <gasps> oh yes. This is very welcomed. Okay, so quick search for anything on the walls. <clears throat> Let's see what we have got. So evasion plus two. Gimme. This one has nothing. We're gonna use the loin ah oh, no, because this gives me minus willpower. I'm gonna place it here. <coughs> this gives me two protection. <coughs> I prefer the protection instead of increased attack power. Okay, so fire bursts required ah oh, you bitch. Can I use this actually? <clears throat> no, so requires fire magic too. So I'm starting to regret my decision of spreading out <coughs> magic points. Oh, so wait, I can actually open this up. Stead. Ooh, crit! 32 damage, Jesus. <coughs> oh, hell yeah. Oh no, no, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. I forgot about this detail. <clears throat> and the attacks quickly. Come on. Come on, man. Oh god. Moo. Mr. Cow is not enjoying this. I'm sorry, Mr. Cow. And I'm sorry, Geralt. <sighs> okay. <clears throat> so now we have both. Of course. Um, so what if I do like this? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, now. This button is still... Uh, making me very curious. To say the least. <clears throat> Maybe it's for something else down the line? Whoa! Wait, are you an enemy? Oh, you most definitely are an enemy. You bitchy. Yeah! Okay, single enemies so far, <clears throat> while not getting cornered. <clears throat> are no issue at all. Okay. Oh, oh, this is this is awesome. Wait, wait, wait! This this is amazing. Evasion plus five. Of course, I want this. <clears throat> Attack power, ten. Speed, ten. No penalty in accuracy. Is this ah? Oh. It's a reach weapon. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take this. Oh, okay. Uh, <clears throat> we're gonna carry the shield on our tank, obviously. Did I lose some rocks along the way? Let me just check. Ah, there it is. I think it's because since it's not no longer equipped, um, he doesn't pick it back up. <clears throat> okay, let me see. Okay, is this the man? This button will forever haunt me. <laughs> okay, take the torch. Oh, another button that doesn't seem to do anything. <clears throat> Give me this scroll. Ooh. Doors of iron. Great rewards can be found behind these doors. To gain access, look carefully for small details and use your wits. <clears throat> so. 
Okay, so obviously this is uh, a secret. Okay, I don't know where the wits part came in there, but <laughs> but okay. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so this magical staff is a powerful weapon when wielded by a potent mage. That's me. Okay, so how can I use this? Uh. What? Oh, so this doesn't attack at all. It simply gives me more energy. Okay, I'm woo. <clears throat> Quick save. <clears throat> what are you? Oh! Oh, wait, never mind. <clears throat> Quick load. So this apparently heals me up to full. I do not want to take it just yet. <clears throat> Let me see if this has any info. Touch to regain health and restore life. Regain health and restore life. Ah, okay, so maybe a dead character. Ooh, scroll of poison cloud. <clears throat> okay, so this is cool. <clears throat> so, the button is still a mystery, but we've cleared the entire level. So I think I'm going to leave this for now because all of our characters are full HP, nobody's dead. So yeah, I think I'm just going <clears> to <throat> continue on. Hello Mr. Snail. Ooh, not Mr. Snail, Mr. Snails. Yeah, <clears throat> so having a reach weapon on my rogue, <coughs> hopefully is going to help out a lot. Even though it does seem to be kind of slow. Yes, Mr. Snail, <clears throat> you were expecting no resistance. You were sorely mistaken. Come on. <laughs> Oh. oh, so we gain levels individually. <clears throat> okay. Okay, so what, what's over here? I'm always curious as to the purpose of corners. Maybe it's just to corner the player. Because they're the... Oh. Ooh, a peasant's cap. Protection plus one. Now, this is why I love these these games. And RPGs in general, picking up items, leveling up my characters and stuff. Can I interact with this? No. Okay. <clears throat> so we broke an obstacle. Mr. Snail. Are you confused? He does seem confused. Okay, I'm just gonna keep hitting you. Ho ho ho. <clears throat> I wonder if there's like a shortcut to, um, to attack with my characters instead of having to right click the, the weapon every time. Okay, <clears throat> so we open up a door. Where does this lead? Okay. So we have a locked door. We have some hooks that do nothing. Okay. And we have a lever. Okay. 
So I'm coming back here because I think that for now, this is where we're going to stop because I want to think about the level ups in the next episode and then proceed after actually leveling up. I don't know if experience points continue to pile on while you don't level up. They probably do. Every single game does this, but since you never know. Oh, wait. I think I only get experience points if I actually do stuff. <clears throat> this is <laughs> upsetting. Okay, so we're gonna do this. Yep, you're gonna start hitting stuff, man. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> okay. So we're gonna have to have a think about the level ups, level up our characters. Um, see if there's anything different to equip and then continue on with exploring this second level. So yeah, as always guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, as expected, I'm liking this game. I remember liking it when I tried it for a bit, uh, I don't know how many years ago, but yeah, I still enjoyed the experience. And if you have any thoughts about the game, about the game style, because I, I do know it's kind of unique nowadays. Most modern games no longer approach movement and combat like this. Leave a comment. And if you want to get notified of, uh, of future uploads, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you all in the next episode where we'll continue to explore the dungeons of the Mount Grimrock. Until then, stay safe, everyone. <laughs>